Did somebody say delicious beef stew in an instant pot? I think they did and I don't know why my voice is so high, but it doesn't matter because start to finish, uh, 35, 40 minutes to make a delicious beef stew? Lots of vegetables and big flavor and how can you go wrong? Well, you can't. Plane? Hold for the plane. While we wait for the plane, we can kill some... Got him. Flies, I hate, they're so bad. We're considering not shooting out here until whenever the fly season ends. How would you feel about that? Let us know in the comments. I know some of you will say, great, because we get to see the kitchen and we never get to see I can't talk! He's missing really no, badly. No, I got him. I'm just trying to hit him off. I, don't, I got meat here, man. I know some of you say, it'd be cool. We'd like to see the kitchen. So we'll shoot something in there because I honestly can't really take much more of this. It's insane. But we like it out here. All right. We cut our meat. Oh, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, 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 shit's falling. You hit me in the face. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. Yeah, you hit me in the eye. Well, I didn't mean to, but now I believe we're even. Uh, Are we even? Yeah. Sorry if I got your eye. I meant your arm. Uh, no, you got me you have both in red, both my eyes. I have salt in my eyes now. Oh, no, that's bad. You can't see. Your job is to see. But I think now we all understand how I feel when you get me unexpectedly. Uh, Yes, in the It's eyes. a shock. Oh, no, I've never gotten you in the eye. Well, I wasn't aiming for your eyes. Uh, you the problem the was, eyes. I was aiming for your body, and when I hit you here, you went, oh! And I was so fast on the double pump that I shot again, but your eyes were now at stomach level. All right, let's continue. Just your regular, everyday father-son stuff here, folks. There's one right on top of your... Got him. All right, here's the plan. We cut the beef, we sear it to give it color, flavor, take it out, Throw some veggies in, scoot them all around, soften them up a bit. Everything goes back in, we turn it on. And that's it, it's that simple. Let's cut our meat first, okay? This is uh, two pounds of sirloin. It's perfect for it. You could use chuck. I mean, you could use anything. Don't use anything expensive because the Instapot's gonna soften the whole thing up. So we just wanna cut these into nice, even bite-sized pieces. And the perfect knife for that is this Sam, the Cooking Guy 5-inch Santoku. Available now. Available now, so like this. I make them decent bites. So I'll just cut this whole thing up and then come back and talk to me. And when everybody's cut, we're gonna season them, spread them out, season them with a little salt and a pepper, like this, and then give them a toss, and do what ends up being kind of the other side. Now, we take these and we give them a little hit of flour. This will help with the browning and the sauce thickening. Same thing here, scrunch them around. I'd say it's perfect weather for beef stew, but San Diego is still 3,000 degrees, which truth be told is like 85 or 86, and we don't like it like that. All right, the Instapot is set to saute, and that's what we're going to do. First in, a couple good shots of olive oil, and now some of our beef. And we don't want to do too much, so we'll probably end up doing this in two or three batches because we're trying to sear it, and if you throw too much in, hey, it's just going to cool the thing way down too fast. So get a few hunks in, hunks. So we're just gonna let them sit for a bit, not turning them so that they have good contact and end up with good color. And when they have color that looks like this, give them a turn, try and get that all the way around, repeat with the rest. All right, we're done searing. Look, the, the Instant Pot does an okay job. See all the stuff at the bottom? We're gonna get that up with some liquid coming up, but for now, we put in some onion. Sorry, that stuff on the bottom is called Fond, F-O-N-D. I feel like I say it far too often. Max likes it when I repeat, so I repeat, that's good. So that's there, a little bit of oil. Let those start to soften a couple minutes and it will continue. And we go with three cloves of garlic. Oh, I had them all crammed in there. What a great garlic press. Give this a few seconds to get fragrant. And when it has, we put in some celery and some carrot. Then a little splash of oil. And that gets, uh, I don't know, three, four minutes to start to soften. Next in, three tablespoons tomato paste. Give it a mix. Let it cook for three minutes or so. We're going to soften the stuff on the bottom. Sorry, Max, the fond with uh, about three tablespoons of vermouth. 
Yum, love this. Look, if you had red wine, feel free to use the red wine, but you can see, do you see that? It's starting to come up, so a little bit more liquid. You see, there's silver at the bottom of that. We wrote about a third of a cup of beef broth. That goes in. Now everything's starting to loosen very beautifully. We put about a half a teaspoon of dry thyme. We put our beef in and all the accumulated juices because that's a huge amount of flavor right there. We've got some small Yukon Gold potatoes, some cremini mushrooms, uh, stems trimmed, cut in half. We give this a beautiful stir. Before I forget, which I just did, a couple tablespoons of soy. Remember, not Chinese, flavor. Not Chinese, just flavor. Everybody gets mixed. Our lid goes on. There we go. We're locked. We've got it on sealing. Now we hit pressure cook, high pressure. We want 25 minutes. And if you wait for it, and on, on, on. There we go. See in 25. Fuck you, fly. Well, at 25 minutes has elapsed. We've given it 15 minutes of natural release. That's the way to put it. We've That's what she said. We could, I didn't say hand release. We've given it 15 minutes of natural release. Now we open it up and inspect. Come along with me, won't you? But before you can open it up, oh, ah, but before you can open it up, you have to vent the rest of it. So this is, this is, I don't know, the other way. And when it's ready, you hear a click. That, ow, that silver thing drops in, and then you can open it up. How's it smell up there, Chance? Delicious. I still don't understand how that dropping down wouldn't it like go into a slot that you couldn't turn? I feel like it should pop it's up. A little thing, right? Yeah. It's a metal thing. It makes sense to me that it pops up when you can open <laughs> it, not down. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ow. <laughs> Wait for it. Three. Not you, fly. Two. One. Oh, I got you. Got me. Oh, sorry. Okay, we're ready. We can open this. And love the sound. Look at you. So here's what you do. You come in with a spoon and you give it some stirs. Mix everything together. Fantastic. And this, this meat, well, watch this. That's what you want, right? Squishy. But I want it to be a little thicker. Like I want this, this little gravy in here to be thicker. So I've mixed just a tablespoon of cornstarch and about a tablespoon and a half of water. I'm gonna add this, add most of it. We'll stir this. And we'll let it sit for a couple of minutes and it will thicken itself up and become amazing and then we'll eat. Look at that, that's fucking perfect. And look, you don't want it any thicker than that. That is fantastic. Mushrooms, carrots, potato, celery. All right, here we go. Damn, look at this. Perfect weather. Perfect weather for stew if you're from the Arctic. Oh, and yes, come on, come on. Well, need a little, oh, nicely done, boys and girls. There we go. Potato, little meat, and a carrot. That's my bite. Steamy. Mmm, it's luscious. It's absolutely luxurious. Now, some mushroom. Mm -mm. I'm so happy this is so good. You know what you could have served this on? Rice, not my favorite. Polenta, soft polenta, getting better. But I think those wide egg noodles, that's the way to go with something like this. Thanks for hanging. You want to make this. And um, before we go, it's time to give away a Sam the Cooking Guy 7-inch Nikiri night because we're doing that every video till the end of the year. You just have to be a YouTube subscriber and go to shopsdcg.com to sign up for email and SMS alerts. All right, we're going to have Lewis tell us who the uh, Nakiri winner is today. Go ahead, Lewis. Go on. Sorry, he's shy. Doug Palmer, congratulations. Fuck, uh, you know what? I'm about had it coming to the end of my thing. Oops. Oh. <laughs> what the f- 
There we go. Oh my God. No, he's dead. Don't know. I don't know. Shoot him towards anything here. Oh fuck. There's probably wings in my drink. Okay, let's go quick before shit goes wrong. You got wings in your drink. I got salt in my eye. <laughs> go Sorry. Sorry.